Hello everybody and welcome to Lush and Salty Aquariums. Uh, my name is Stefan and normally I'd be showing you fish but it's been a couple months since I sold all my aquariums intact to some wonderful friends and hobbyists in the Northern California area. So fish uh, are gone from my life right now but absolutely not forgotten. We're moving to Chicago in one month, exactly a month, the end of April even shorter, I guess. And I'm super excited, super nervous, uh, and you know, all that goes with moving and the top five stressors of human existence, like right up there with death and divorce, moving. Um, I also have to move uh, this guy here. That's proving to be a huge issue. It's a whole other story. Um, his brother, this other, our other dog is older and more infirm, a little bit challenged, so difficulty. We don't want to put them in cargo, and the options for flying them with us have been depleted because uh, we tried, and Bo, the other dog, was deemed too big for his carrier. We had to abort the flight. Total shit show, but uh, I'm working on that. I'm leaning on um, the refurbished cabinet that used to house right there where that blank space is, my 135 gallon mixed reef aquarium. I uh, sanded this down and had it painted black and the canopy's coming shortly. It's all going with us to Chicago. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now, because I'm gonna be in an apartment and I don't wanna deal with RO water and having them schlep it, the elevators and the people in the building and salt water in general, um, maybe affecting the wood floors and other reasons, I've accepted a new challenge and I'm gonna convert this tank into a freshwater aquarium and I'm almost, 100% certain I'm going to be housing Altum angelfish, which are the primo strain of that lovely species. Uh, for the most part, they used to be wild caught only, but breeding has been successful. I found a breeder and he's holding a dozen for me. They grow big, they're lovely, they're special. Um, look them up, Altum Angels. Uh, those who know, know, but if you don't, check them out. And I'm gonna have a minimally planted uh, aquascape with probably an island uh, set up. So there'll be some zero stone, millennium stone, some beautiful heavy gray stone with a couple pieces of significant manzanita wood as outcroppings, and then perhaps some java fern and a little bit of Anubias, and then a, a light sand bottom all around. So I've seen people's videos of basically this setup with that fish, and I want to replicate that, right? So I'm going to be stealing ideas from my fellow fish people, and that's what YouTube and these uh, channels are all about, right? So I'm hoping to pull that off. I'm also uh, down in here, behind me in the cabinet itself. I'm about 90% certain I'm gonna go with a sump uh, as opposed to canisters, because if I do canisters, I'll really need a couple of them and a couple good ones. And a sump could be a viable alternative to that. Those that love them think they're the best. I'm feeling squirrely about it, but I am researching heavily on those options and I've narrowed it down to a couple uh, pretty sweet looking sump systems and I'm learning um, the various intricacies with maintaining that system. Now, obviously in the saltwater tank, I had a sump, but it had a reactor and other equipment that I don't need for the freshwater. So it was pretty uh, decrepit and I sold it all off along with the uh, acrylic tank. I'm now going to go with glass. And so it's going to be really special and I'm super, super excited. If only I could get to the other side, to Chicago with my dogs, with my happy wife and just be done with the move so I can get my hands back in the tank and doing what I love so much. And uh, also showing you content out the wazoo, which I'm not able to do right now. 
And so I don't even know if you're tolerating this video, but I feel like compelled to do it because I don't want to lose um, the beloved subscribers I already have and I want to keep uh, people posted. I'm also going to do a fish room in my new house. It's going to be like I had here, a study slash fish room and wait till you see the wallpaper. It is so freaking awesome. My wife found um, a designer wallpaper that has sort of a fish motif and I'm just thrilled and I can't wait to show you that and start building um, either a bunch of nano tanks in there or a few bigger high-end um, aquascape setups uh, and I'll talk more about that stuff later. Anyway, I'm past the five minute mark going on six, but I wanted to just, you know, keep it, uh, keep it alive, keep the story alive. Um, I'm very nervous, very excited, big transition, and I'm super looking forward to sharing that with you. So while I cannot right now, I beseech you to always keep your hands in the tank. Ciao for now.